Today we're going to look at two magic mirror modules that are going to integrate this Raspberry Pi into your daily life. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I want to show you two magic mirror modules that help you integrate the magic mirror into your daily life. The first is a Spotify module that will allow you to display your Spotify playlist up here on the magic mirror. Now, using the remote, I'll pop it up so you can see what it looks like. I'll reveal the Spotify app. So, in the bottom left-hand corner, it's the Spotify logo, and that basically indicates that the app or the module is currently running, but that no music is playing. So, if I open up my Spotify app and play a playlist, pretty cool, right? It displays the artwork, the artist, the title, time remaining, and what I thought was really cool is at the bottom it displays Brian's iPhone. So it's basically telling you who's using the app and who's playing the music. So I thought that was kind of cool because if you were playing it on your iPad or your computer, it would say Brian's iPad, Brian's computer. This was a really easy module to, uh, to install. Normally these take me a few hours because they end up breaking some of the code and they have to fix the mirror all over again. This probably took me a total of 15 minutes. Um, the first step was basically getting the Spotify API. A big note on that was I'm not a premium Spotify user, I'm the free user, so I watch the ad and I get 30 minutes of free music. I was still able to get the API even though I wasn't a premium user. So once I got the API, all I really had to do was go into the config file for my Magic Mirror and add in this Spotify module. Um, very easy to use, shout out to Raywo on GitHub who created this. Uh, it's a very nice module. To round it out, I thought it was very cool that when you close Spotify on whatever the device is that you're using, it'll minimize it here on the Magic Mirror, and again, it'll throw that little logo on the bottom left hand to just basically say, hey, I'm ready to play music whenever you're ready. Awesome app. Thanks again, Raybo. The second module that I want to show you guys was a module that allows you to display any web widget that you want. So... Sometimes it's very difficult to get data to appear up in your Magic Mirror because you have to create this entire module. What somebody created was a module that, again, allows you to display any widget that you want. The particular web widget I chose today was the status of the New York City subway. So, again, using my remote, I'll reveal it so you can see what we're talking about. And you can see there on the top left-hand corner, it displays the status of the New York City subway. Not surprisingly, everything is uh, under construction right now on the weekends, and basically nothing is running on time, but that's neither here nor there. But what's really cool about this app is I'm displaying the subway information, so I commute every day on the subway. It'll kind of tell me um, you know, like what the status is and how much time I need on the back or the front end to get to work. But you're able to change this to either show you rail, bus, bridges and tunnels. So I thought it'd be really cool if you live outside the city and you're taking the bridges and tunnels it'll tell you what the delay is, so 25 or 30 minutes, and you can display that up on your mirror. This is a very basic app. It displays raw data, so it doesn't always look super pretty. You can see that the, uh, the widget doesn't look great up there, but it displays the data that I need. So until you can figure out how to make this look uh, you know, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, this is a great solution. What I love about this mirror is that whenever you go to it, you can get all the data, all the information you need, all at one glance. So we have the weather up here, time, I can reveal my calendar, and it's all like a one-stop shop. So when I'm showing these modules and I'm trying to like integrate them into my mirror, that's my idea. So my idea is like this sort of like command console, command whatever, a one-stop shop for all the information you need in your house. If you guys like these Raspberry Pi videos and you want to see more of them, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell. I will see you guys later.